This next one from 2006 is underrated, overlooked, a hidden gem, a floral musk. It's relaxing and fun to wear, and it's called Bull. In this video, we're going to talk about the top five Bulgari fragrances for men. From my experience since 1996, I'm going to show you my take on the top five Bulgari fragrances for men, including one that's a hidden gem. My name's Christian O. I've been experiencing with fragrances since 1996. If you like all talk about fragrances, men or women, consider subscribing today. We're going to dive right in with the first one. It's called I'm making this Bulgari video to help you realize that there's some other brands out there. Bulgari used to be a, well he still is, a high-end jeweler. He makes these cool zero rings that cost $1,200. He has over 90 titles of fragrances and these are going to be the top five starting with this Bulgari Man Wood Essence. Uh, one thing I must note is that I've never smelled, I have smelled Bulgari Man Black and I didn't like it. I've never worn it fully on so I can't really give you a good that might have been in it and the black the orient there's one called Bulgari man orient parfum so there's those are a few things that I really didn't get a full review on but the rest of them I did check out and this is called wood essence it's a lot drier than the black one the thing the bottle looks green when I first saw it I was thinking it's going to be a green very very earthy scent and it wasn't you can turn this knob right here and it locks so you can't spray. I never, uh, I believe this to be a very unique scent. If you're like a doctor or someone that works in close quarters in an office, I believe this would be the perfect scent to wear. It does project, but not too much. It's right out to here, projected for two hours, full force. Third hour, it comes back down a little. Lasting power on this, eight hours it's uniqueness nine a nine it's very unique it's a fresh calm relaxing highly likable scent mass appealing too it kind of gives you a fresh creamy woody vibe the best bulgari's ever made by alberto marias he also made armani aquadigio this smells like dolce and gabbana light blue volcano if you ever familiar with that it felt the Dolce Gabbana light blue flanker volcano is a little bit cheaper than this. If you really want to go on a cheap and smell like this, get something called Bogart Story Blue. It only costs $12. This is running right at about $100 in the department stores. The fragrance discounters have it approximately $50 to $60. This is one I'd highly recommend you get. This is my favorite from the list and it's one of the newest releases. Came out in 2018. And it's youthful. All ages can pull this off. I highly recommend to get this Bulgari Wood Essence. And I wore it the other day and received two compliments. But I did have a, speaking of doctors, I had a doctor's appointment. And the doctor himself complimented me and his women assistants as well. The next one on the list is called Bulgari BLV Nota. It's a discontinued item, sadly, but you can find it on eBay. I've seen half-empty bottles for sale for 20 30 bucks. People don't know what they got. Big bottles like this are about $120 or floating around that area, brand new and sealed. This is a tobacco, woods, fruity, spicy, sweet combo with a dark chocolate undertone. That's what you get with this. A lady killer, lots of compliments chocolate mix as well with the ginger the ginger is called galangal it's like the root of a ginger tree and i said tobacco earlier it does have tobacco blossom in it which is completely different from your tom ford leathery tobacco scent tobacco blossoms more summery and hay and sweet tobacco blossom kind of like a floral so you have that nothing else smells like this except for the original bulgari blv but this one's a little bit more creamier and smooth. Another item that kind of smells like this is called Prada Loam Absolute, just to give you an idea of what you're dealing with here. Maybe you've all heard of it, maybe not. It's called Bulgari Aqua Amara from 2014. Fresh, orange, citrus, green, energizing, long-lasting, highly complimented fragrance. Very unique. Jacques Cavalier made this. He's also making all the Louis Vuitton fragrances currently in 2018. And years ago, he was on the women's 
Isimiyaki Fu. The Fu de Isi is very rare, Hall of Fame now, but back then it was like 1999. He invented that as well as many other fragrances. I believe he even worked with the Aqua Di Gio If we were to say what's the healthiest fragrance to wear, this could possibly fall in the category. It's made with a Seville orange. Seville is the oranges that are made, used to making marmalade. And marmalade can be helpful in trying to lose fat and and health, other health aspects. It's just that it has a lot of sugar, but marmalade is a good treat. Aquamara also is said to be energizing. It kind of gives you that energizing because the orange citrus. So you have energizing and health. The Neroli comes from the Seville orange treats extracted from there. This is almost a peppery root beer ambery scent if you can imagine that it's got some florals the scent of the ocean some citruses the longevity and silage and uniqueness are all off the charts i must say if you've never tried bulgari aqua marla it's kind of hard to find i do see it a little bit more frequently these days but mainly i see them in like gift sets for about 60 to 70 dollars and you probably can find some on Amazon and other fragrance discounters. Lovely, long-lasting, energetic, fresh citrus, oceanic amber scent. This next one from 2006 is underrated, overlooked, a hidden gem, a floral musk. It's relaxing and fun to wear, and it's called Bulgari Soir. There are many Bulgari... Omas, there's Bulgari Om, there's Bulgari Om O Extreme, which is very good. I like this one, it's the complete opposite of the O Extreme. It's a little bit sweeter and creamier. O Extreme, O Extreme is more green. This is made with papyrus and tea and other citruses. The bergamot they use gives it a sweet, spicy touch. And the papyrus gives it that wood in the background, but not like the the wood. It's got the wood without all the depth. It's called papyrus. It's a plant they use to make paper with, but there's there's a plant version of it. And the tea note gives it a thin-bodied floral aroma to it. This sells for about ninety bucks on the Bulgari website. The discounters have the 50 mils for around thirty forty dollars. Longevity is eight hours. Projection is two hours. Kind of reminds me of Armani Mania, kind of like Code, but more like Armani Mania. I'm sure a person over 30 would like this. Uh, anyone under, or you're looking for more modern scents, you probably won't appreciate this. If you're looking something that smells like this that's cheaper, you can get Eau de Iceberg 1974. That's just what they call it on the bottle. It says 1974. Eau de Iceberg is about a $15 item. It smells close to this 40 percent if you want to smell like this like prada luna rosa black kind of smells like this and this is cheaper than prada luna rosa black so if you want to try that try this vice versa finally we have bulgari aqua o atlantique a people pleaser eight hours longevity two to three hours projection happy salty fresh aquatic like the Atlantic Ocean. I have been to the Atlantic Ocean. I've been all up and down the Florida coast, all up and down the New Jersey coast, and it kind of does remind you of that. And also the Atlantic Ocean could be South America, so you can think of that. I don't know how they pull that off, but it does resemble. That. The bergamot from Italy, from the town of Calibria, gives it a spicy, sweet scent note. The base is a vetiver patchouli the sandalwood. patchouli gives it a spicy citrus mint and a sandalwood calms it down gives it that creamy powdery vibe and off the first five minutes it is delicious you might think i don't know if i'm gonna like this but it dries down beautifully company creed and the fragrance called viking uses the same calibrian bergamot from the coasts of sicily in their fragrance so it has some similarities to creed viking it is also said to smell like dior sauvage and more even more so like dylan blue versace dylan blue aqua pour homme atlantique what's your favorite bulgari comment down below